to reactions that rock. I am Seth, a former rock and roll DJ and a bad decision maker. Yes, you make bad decisions when you're sick and I am no exception. Need proof? The chin strap. Seriously, I am shaving this thing as soon as this studio session is done. What the hell was I thinking? I don't know. Tell me I'm an idiot down below. I love your comments, especially when they're personal attacks. Those make me feel really good about myself. Speaking of feeling really, really good, I checked out a band called Freeze the Fall not too long ago, and I felt really, really good about the song Glitch that I listened to. They just released uh, a new song called Daughters of Witches while I was sick, and uh, maybe they put a hex on me. I don't know. I'm not going to yap a whole lot. I'm just going to fire it right up. Brand new Freeze the Fall, Daughters of Witches. These kids are still in high school, so uh, they blew my mind last time. Let's see if I've got anything left to get blown again. Uh, let's just ride out with it. actually going to stop it right there. First of all, this is what good quality production will do for you. Um, I've dealt with a lot of uh, smaller bands, local bands, uh, upcoming artists that literally like recorded their own stuff in their basement. And what type of an idiot would record stuff in his basement? Oh, yeah, no, no, not, not me. I'm talking about this. This is great production quality. Things I love about this already is I've got some left-right going on, some panning of the audio, if you will. I dig it. Not enough bands are willing to do that. They kind of just throw everything split on your speakers, and that is what it is. This, I've got some bouncing back and forth, which in the headphones you really notice. in the Like if you're driving in the car, it's a little less detectable, but you still kind of pick it up because the music moves around you, and I like that. Secondly, I like the, uh, the the effects going into the song, the intro, the drums kind of coming in. Uh, I'm I've it's been like twenty years since I've been in a recording studio doing anything of actual value, unlike this YouTube channel. But um, kind of that air effect in the drums, I love it. The intro to the song has a real kind of a throwback feel. I was in radio in the two thousands uh, when when new metal and aggro and everything else kind of launched. And the intro kind of has that, it's like a 2006 vibe to me, which is probably when these kids were born. And um, yeah, I know, I know. Maybe not even. Oh my God. They weren't even. Let that sink in for just a moment. But anyway, there's it's got like that vibe right there that I'm really, really digging. It's a throwback vibe. Uh, I don't know if they grew up with parents who listened to a lot of like to, or late 90s, early 2000s aggro and new metal, but it, it really, really just picks it up like early Chevelle, if you will. I'm digging it. I'm just going to keep it riding out. Uh, I don't even know if there's subtitles, but I don't really need them because I can hear what's going on, which is always nice. Uh, another point, the vocals, the inflection uh, when you this is something else that I love about the song so far. And we're just getting started is her singing. It's very, very easy to take uh, 10th grade English pentameter when you're hitting a song. Boom, 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 boom. Like, you hit the vocals on the down notes and whatever. But it's a lot more complex to kind of throw some vocals in starting where they may not have naturally felt like they should start. And I picked up on that a little bit. I don't know if we're getting a whole lot of that or if I'm just getting too deep into the analytics here. But I'm just going to fire it up, going to keep my mouth shut for most of this and just hear what we've got to go with. Are you kidding me?
are you listening to them play? Okay, first of all, they're better than anybody has a right to be at that age. Seriously, I don't know when they started playing, if it was like a, a hey, four-year-old, here's your first guitar, impress the hell out of me. I don't know. Uh, this dude on drums is killing it. Um, there's so many layers going on here. I love the bass. If you, you listen to that, that is being played as a combination. There's bass notes that you're getting. You're definitely getting that kind of plucking of the bass, but you're also getting some rhythm guitar sounds coming out of there too, which in a power trio is kind of what you need. Um, she's doing a great job picking up the low end, but also keeping that song going. The two of them, the rhythm section, if you will, holding it together solidly. Uh, whoever mixed this for them, uh, whoever the producer was in the studio, um, I don't know if you are like a big shot, like what your name is, who you've produced before, but props to the producer too for putting this together because from where I sit and what I'm listening to in these cans, everything is mixed basically perfectly. The audio volumes, the mic volumes, the instrument volumes, the drum volumes. Then you get that shifting with different notes coming out through different sides. You've got some panning going on. You've got some really, really great post-production going on in here. Um, I'm going to let it ride out. I'm going to shut my mouth. Um, if I sound like an idiot, it's because I am. But this is also my first time back in studio, so I'm a little bit lusty, if you will. I don't know. I think they're Canadian, so I had to dip into that French accent, even though... Like, it's only like 20% of Canada that does that. I don't I don't know, but any chance to knock the homeland? Yes! Yes! Yes, I may or may not have Canadian blood uh, going through this whole thing. So let's, uh, let's let it ride out, and then I'll say things if I haven't said enough already. It'll break down. Dark bridge, I love it. I didn't know it was ending, and I love that ending. That is, oh, I love it. Uh, oh, by the way, eat honey with this will cause cancer. Don't ignore the stuff that pops up on this screen. I don't know why so much of this is recommended to me. They must, nothing cool. Oh, no, there's some good music. Anyway, seriously, back to the task at hand, uh, the reaction video here, and you get a real reaction video from me if you don't already know. I do this in one take. I don't listen to the song ahead of time. I don't watch the video and take notes of cool things to tell you. There's so many jokes that I could come up with or cool hip points of reference that I could like impress you with. If I were to watch this video two or three times before watching this video for the first time, but I don't like to do that. Point in case, if you need proof that this is a one take type of thing, what was that, McAfee popping up telling me how to do a system scan in the middle of this? Oh my god, we are as amateur as it gets, but to me, that's what keeps it real. I am as honest and real as I can possibly be with you. Right down from the McAfee to the chin strap, man, you get what you pay for here, and I hope it's worth every penny. What's that, you haven't, you, you, you haven't paid anything. Oh, well, good for you. Don't. Do not, do not ever click that little heart with a dollar sign in it. Don't, it's bad things will happen. Uh, anyway, so seriously, Freeze the Fall. This is the second song I've done from them. I am more and more impressed than I was with the first one. Uh, not just the ages, because I know I can just get hung up on that over and over and over again. Yes, um, they are still in high school, which is impressive. 
But let's not get hung up on the age. Let's get hung up on the talent. Uh, amazing, amazing talent. That I wish I had even wrote, written, like, written, wrote, <laughs> wrote. I wish I took notes of the kids' names. And I'm sorry for calling you the kids. Please forgive me if you watch this. I'm an old man. Anybody under the age of 30 is a kid to me. So I wish I took notes of your names so I could point you out instead of saying the guitarist, the singer, the, the bass. But that drummer is killing it with some great, great, great rock and roll drumming. Uh, kudos, man. That is phenomenal. Um, I know people twice his age with half his skill set. I know people three times his age with zero skill set. So, I mean, just absolutely killing it. I love it. Um, great song. Radio-friendly song. I can't say that enough. And I know we're in 2024 where radio maybe doesn't matter as much as it used to. But seriously, um, it, radio is still the way that most people discover new music. So a radio-friendly song isn't the worst thing in the world to have. And that is a radio-friendly song. I am a fan of... Um, I am here for the ride to see how far they go, because if they keep putting out burners like that, uh, sky's the limit. They're going to be headlining their own shows um, like across the country uh, pretty much as soon as they graduate. And I've said it before and I'll say it again. I will never, ever, ever, ever recommend people not go get a college education. But in this instance, maybe skip it. Maybe don't waste your time. Just Get your education on the road, play in those clubs, play in those shows, playing those venues. Um, yeah, may maybe go to like University of Phoenix or something and get an online degree in art history. I don't know, just in case. But seriously, uh, this is a career if they choose to have it be one. Uh, great songwriting, great structure, great everything. I can't put it over enough uh, or give the flowers as the kids these days are saying. Um, are they still saying that? Is that already old? Ah, man, I can't keep up. Freeze the Fall, Daughters of Witches, fantastic quality. And again, the producer, dude, you need to be in like Los, Los Angeles, uh, Nashville, New York. You need to be in like a top five music market right now, uh, applying your craft to music because the production quality on this is absolutely mind blowing. Uh, put on a, a pair of really good expensive headphones and listen to this song, and you'll see exactly what I mean. The amount of movement of the pieces that's going on in this music is just insane. Um, they, they, whatever they paid to have this recorded, they got their money's worth, and then some. Cannot wait to see what comes next uh, from, from them. Uh, I will have stuff coming up next, too. Couldn't tell you what it is yet. That's half the surprise of all of this. Thank you so much for hanging out with me, and until I see you on the next one, I will see you on the next one.